So, when you last saw me, when many of you last saw me, I was yelling and screaming and cursing up a storm after the second period the other night as the Panthers were fixing to blow a game and go down to the Rangers two games to one. Now, interestingly enough, uh, that video has now become the most successful recap I've ever done in eight years and also has the title of the recap, the video itself, that has garnered me the most subscribers. Go figure, because that's, I'm not saying it was off-brand or on-brand, but it was just a natural moment of just inability to contain myself. And I prefaced it and let everybody know I'm not going to contain myself. And so what happened, happened, what I said is what I said, what I meant was what I meant. Now, in terms of this hockey team, now I tend to have a little bit of a different POV than you might see many um, other YouTubers, other content creators. But keep in mind, every single one of these players is young enough to be my son, with the uh, inclusion of some of them are actually younger than my son. So there's that. It's a little bit of a different perspective. I come at it from a perspective of, dude, life happens fast. And when you blow your opportunities and you look back and you just say, shit, why didn't I blank, 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 blank? That's the perspective that I have in those moments when I'm yelling and screaming. And while many of you might say I'm overreacting, it might feel that way in the moment. But when you take a step back 10, 20, 30 years later, you realize, I wish the person had had that kind of passion and maybe they wouldn't have made the mistakes that they made that cost them. Now, Panthers find themselves in the same position that they found themselves in against Vegas. You're down 2-1, still at home, and you have an opportunity to tie this series. Hmm. Now, against Vegas, we use the excuses of, well, it was Kachuk had the broken sternum. And he did, right? Game three. Broke sternum, still tied the game. Panthers get it in overtime. And now, here we go in game four again. What is, what, what are, what is, what will our excuse be this time? Now, against Vegas, it was Chucky's sternum. It was Ekblad's arm. It was Ekblad's foot. Apparently, it was Montour's arm. It was loose to Reinen, right? A lot of injuries. I understand that that was the excuse then. We were tired because we had had to grind for months and months and months towards the end of the season because we had to catch up in the playoff race. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Those are all viable, rational, logical excuses that have allowed this team to uh, present themselves as a team that could have, should have won, and we've learned. That's the thing we've heard from Kachuk a lot, right? We've learned what it takes. And I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I think the only thing that you've learned is what it takes to lose. You haven't proven that you've learned what it takes to win. Because had you proven that you had learned what it takes to win, you would have started the last game the way you finished the last game before realizing that, oh, crap. We haven't done what it takes to win, and now we have to give all of this absurd extra energy that we did in the third period. So when Chucky says, we've learned what it takes, no, no, you haven't, kid. No, you haven't. You haven't learned. You think you've learned, which is a dangerous spot. In fact, that's more dangerous than not having learned at all, because the fact that you haven't learned and you think you've learned is really a bad spot to be in. Now. Rangers taking it to us. We've taken it to them. It doesn't matter. It's 2-1, and here's your chance. This chance right here, this game four, at home. Now, if you lose this game, going balls to the wall, and it's, and it's just, it just, puck ain't bouncing your way, okay, we can have that discussion. But if you come out anything remotely close like you did in the last game, I don't want to hear it. You got no excuses, and you haven't learned a damn thing. And then you get to Bobrovsky. Yeah. Bubba. 
We all love Bubba, right? And he ain't getting any younger. And this season, he did have a spectacular season. And you can argue whether it was him, the defense. Doesn't matter. The numbers are what the numbers are. And I think he's going to win a Vesna. That said, in the playoffs, we have seen Bob go... I mean, he is either the reincarnation of Patrick Waugh on crack or not. Any other night, he was not. Not terrible. Not terrible. But let's, let's look at it this way. Talked about this in the podcast today. If Bobrovsky in this series was playing like Shesterkin, it would at least be 2-1 Panthers, maybe even 3-0. Now, I know Ranger fans are going, like three. Here, think, listen to what I said. If Bobrovsky was playing like Shesterkin in this series, which is to mean making the most important saves at the most important times. Look at that third period. Yeah, he allowed two, but we had like 8,000 shots in the third period. We only got two. So, I want to see Chucky prove. I, I, I want to see you put your money where your mouth is. Because we've heard all season about how um, we learn how to win. And how we're so motivated to win the cup. And how last year really felt a certain way. Yeah, well, you, you ain't acting like it. Because... You lack the focus to not lift the puck. You lack the focus to not hit the crossbar. You see what I'm saying? You guys aren't locked in. It's as though you're it's as though in your mind you think you've already learned what you need to have learned, and therefore, by default, you assume the effort that you're putting on the ice is equal to that effort. That would allow you to win. But the problem is, is you have not learned what it takes yet. You haven't learned what it takes to finish. You have learned what it takes to get there. But ladies and gentlemen of the jury, getting there and finishing are two very, very different things. So, if I was in front of any of these kids, and to me they are kids, it's not disrespect. Lundell is years younger than Kyle. If I was in front of any of these kids, I would remind them of the words of Keith Kachuk. And I would remind them and ask them to look inside themselves and wonder, well, why did that make a difference? You know, there's fans, there's, there's all, everybody can say anything they want. But why did the words of Keith Kachuk affect them the way that they so obviously did? And then why did Maurice berating them on national TV have the effect that it so obviously did. Huh. Why is that? Well, what I can tell you as an older man is that there comes a point in time in every younger man's life where you hear something you don't want to hear and you don't like it, and it pisses you off. And how you harness that anger in those moments can be the difference between creating great things or not creating great things. And those players took that the comments from Kachuk, the comments from Maurice, they took that and they created something almost great. It was it was almost great. It, it, we can say it was a great run, but they didn't finish. But it has led to them having the dangerous opinion that they've learned what it takes. And they haven't. They haven't. And that would be my message to all of them if they were listening, which they're not. But if they were in front of me as the elder, I would say, you kids haven't figured it out yet. You think you have, like all young men do. We all think that we have it figured out. And then we get to my age and we go, Jesus, what was I thinking? Yeah, I didn't have anything figured out. Whether or not my words would sink in, don't know. Don't know. But you haven't learned anything yet. None of you have. Not even Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky is the elder. He's the, I mean, he is what should be the de facto leader of this team. And yet up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down, make the save, Bob. If, if you're weak high, fix it. You're not an old man, as my water softener kicks on. And so I'll use that as a sign to end the video. But let's just put it this way. If this team, if this variation of Florida Panthers is ever going to win the cup, it will be this game. Now, winning this game doesn't guarantee that they're going to win the cup, but losing this game guarantees 
that they might not. Because if they lose this game, after having played the way they did in the last game, it will prove one thing, and that is that they haven't learned shit. So, kids, wake up. Stop acting your age. Grasp a little extra maturity. Get pissed off at something, if that's the motivation you need. And go out there and prove what you've been telling us all season long about how you've learned and you got it figured out. Now you just need to finish. You ain't figured anything out yet. See if you can grow and learn and take the next step.